Hey Sawyer, can you tell me the difference between a pro and a con? I know what a pro is. What's a pro? A pro is a person who does something good and a person could call them a pro. You mean a professional? Mm -hmm. Like me? Mm -hmm. You're right. Do you know what a con is? No, I don't. All right, so a pro is a reason, uh, an advantage, and a con is a disadvantage. And in today's video, we're gonna discuss exactly what the pros and cons of living in West Boynton Beach are. So let's get after it now. Boom! Boom, and we're live. My name is Chris Igo, Igo Home Group, powered by Remax Direct, and I am your local South Florida realtor. If you're new to the channel and would like to learn everything that there is to know about living, working, and thriving down here in sunny South Florida, then be sure to hit the subscribe button now. Tap that notification bell, and this way you'll be notified every single time we put out a new piece of content. We are constantly helping buyers from around the country and around the world buy homes here in South Florida. We absolutely love it. So if you or anyone you know is even thinking of moving to South Florida, we would absolutely love to help. Make sure you connect with us directly. Give us a call, send us an email, shoot us a DM, leave a comment below, send us a carrier pigeon, a smoke screen, signal, <laughs> by any means necessary. But make sure you connect with us because when it comes to moving to South Florida, we got your back. There are so many great things about living in Boynton Beach, South Florida. The weather's great, the beaches are beautiful, but just like any other city, there are some downsides. So make sure you stick around until the end because the fourth con is a very important consideration and it could be a huge factor in determining where you want to live. The number one advantage of living in Boynton Beach is its prime location. Boynton is nestled right between the Everglades to the west and the Atlantic Ocean to the east. The westernmost point of Boynton is 20 minutes to the ocean, so you're never too far away from Florida Gators or Miami Dolphins. You're going to be hard-pressed to find a more beautiful place to live. We're just minutes from the beach. We've got incredible golfing and fishing. We're just 30 minutes from Fort Lauderdale and Palm Beach International Airports, as well as Port Everglades, as well as roughly one hour from the Port of Miami and Miami International. So if you love international travel or cruising, you are in luck. Boynton Beach is also just a short three hour drive to Tampa or Orlando, which are home to some of the best theme parks and most fun rides in the world, as well as home to the most famous mouse on planet Earth. We've got Busch Gardens, Walt Disney World, and of course, Universal Studios. Now on the flip side, housing costs in Boynton Beach are relatively high. A single family home in most neighborhoods will cost between three and $400,000, with the average sale price being right around 367,000. It goes all the way up to a million plus for homes in West Boynton. Housing costs are significantly lower than New York, New Jersey, and California, as well as many other places, which leads us to advantage numero dos to living in Boynton Beach, as well as the entire state of Florida, which is no state income tax. So while my friends are up north and out west are getting crushed with taxes, state income tax does not exist in Florida. And this is just one of the many reasons why we are helping so many families relocate down here to Boynton Beach and South Florida. Now there are affordable homes in Central and East Boynton, which start in the mid 200s. If a single family home is not in your budget, there also are some fantastic townhome and condo options, which start right around $100,000. Boynton is also known for its premier retirement golf communities, which are typically age restricted to 55 years and up. These clubs offer a lot, but they are expensive. I often get calls from out of state buyers totally psyched that they found a tremendous bargain online only to discover it's a mandatory membership community sporting hefty mandatory membership fees. Check this home out for example, and I know what you're thinking. Chris, you just told me that the average home price is 367,000. I scored. I found a three bedroom, two bath at 259,000. Awesome corner lot, massive yard, gated community. Well, you did. 
But all that glitters is not gold, my friends. If you find what appears to be a pricing anomaly, you've likely found a mandatory membership golf community. This one has a $40,000 membership fee, $898 monthly homeowners association fee, almost $7,000 in annual dues, $150,000 monthly capital project fund fee, plus a $70 monthly clubhouse assessment, plus a quarterly golf course assessment fee, and anywhere from four to 600 for annual food and beverage services. So on top of the $259,000 deal you found, you're also looking at an additional 40,000, which puts you at 299,000, plus 22,000 in annual membership fees. Whew, don't get me wrong, these are outstanding clubs, but if they aren't what you're looking for, it can make your online search incredibly disappointing. Now, I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but if you're thinking about moving to Boynton Beach or anywhere in South Florida, don't worry, we've got your back. We absolutely love talking to you guys. We help so many people buy and sell homes in Boynton Beach, so please give me a call, send me an email, or drop a comment below, and I'll be absolutely happy to answer any questions or help in any way I can. The third advantage is the weather. It's not called sunny South Florida by accident. Temperatures range over the course of the year from 60 on the low end all the way up to 90 degrees. It's rarely below 40 or above 92, but the weather also has a downside. Summers can be absolutely brutal. 90 plus degrees and what feels like north of 100% humidity can sometimes make you feel like you're breathing through a wet sock. Thank God for air conditioning. You can be sure to expect a brief mid-afternoon rainstorm during the summer almost every single day. It's a little bit crazy because it can be raining like cats and dogs on one side of the street and totally bone dry on the other. But there's one thing that I can guarantee, it's absolutely going to rain every day. The real disadvantage to the weather or con number two is hurricanes. From June to July, it's hurricane season down here in Florida, and Florida is located in Hurricane Alley. We've been very fortunate not to have many direct hits over the last 10 or so years, but hurricanes are very real, and one of the reasons that insurance premiums are higher. Hurricanes are a fact of life, they must be prepared for, and we'll make sure that you are. The next advantage is lifestyle. Boynton Beach enjoys a tropical lifestyle which affords waterfront dining, abundant shopping, and lively entertainment. There are hundreds of restaurants, outdoor lifestyle shopping centers, and a regional mall. The city operates eight recreation centers, 29 parks, a swimming pool, a municipal beach, golf and tennis center, and lots of youth, teen, adult, and senior programs. Oceanfront Park is one of our favorites. You've got pristine beaches, a playground, cabana rentals, picnic areas, fairly decent parking, but you better come early because it fills fast, especially during season. Just west of the beach and south of the Boynton Inlet, you've got Boynton Harbor Marina. This is one of Boynton Beach's hidden gems and it offers a true small town experience. Fishing is the marina's most popular attraction. The Gulf Stream brings warm waters from the Caribbean and large amounts of game fish. So you've got wahoo, mahi-mahi, tuna, sailfish, uh, in fact, the Gulf Stream is closer to Boynton Beach than any other U.S. city, hence why we're called the gateway to the Gulf Stream. There are plenty of local charter captains that have been fishing for decades that would love to take you out. They've developed an intimate understanding of the local fish habitat. So if you're looking to get your fish on, this is your spot. Now, you can also rent a boat or jet ski and cruise the intercoastal waterway, or perhaps a relaxing sunset cruise and enjoying the multi-million dollar mansions along the waterway is more your speed. The marina also features two popular waterfront restaurants, two Georges, and Banana Boat. But very close by are some other local spots, which are great too. Boynton Beach Town Square redevelopment project is well underway. Town Square is a 16-acre site in downtown Boynton Beach. The project includes the renovation of historic Boynton Beach High School, 
into a cultural center with residential, retail spaces, a hotel playground, amphitheater, open spaces, parking garages, a fire station, a new city hall, and a new library. Now, my family really loves the Children's Schoolhouse Museum and Learning Center. It's great for young kids. They can explore and play, learn about and discover humanities, sciences, in a cultural and historical setting. There's always something fun to do in the day here in Boynton Beach, but that leads us to disadvantage or con number three. There isn't much or really any nightlife or rowdy bars or clubs, especially out west, which is where you tend to find more family-oriented developments and 55-plus communities. But the good news is it's really not that far away. One of the closest nightlife entertainment options is 20 minutes away and one city over in Delray Beach, specifically Atlantic Avenue. You've got great live music, unbelievable restaurants, bars, cultural events, great shopping. There's always a good time to be had and it's only a short drive or Uber away. 30 to 40 minutes north, you've got downtown West Palm and Clematis Street. And then 30 or 40 minutes south, you've got downtown Fort Lauderdale and Las Olas. One hour south and you've got Miami and South Beach. So you've got plenty of world-class options, just none that are all that close. Schools and education are the next pro and con. Boynton Beach boasts some of the best public schools in the state, but it also features some of the worst. Education is key and access to the best schools is one of the reasons why we chose to live in West Boynton. We know all the best schools and we will do our best to ensure that you know them too. Safety is the next pro and con. Boynton Beach is one of the safest places to live in the state of Florida, but like any other major city, there are some hot spots which are less safe and we will help you to avoid them completely. Seasonal visitors are the next pro and con. Winter season runs from mid-December through Easter, which is phenomenal for the economy, but not so great for traffic. You can expect to see lots of unusual license plates and terrible drivers. Boynton Beach is a great place to raise a family. It's where I chose to live. You've got great people, schools, community. We love living in Boynton Beach. So if you're thinking about moving to Boynton or anywhere in South Florida, we can make that process so much easier. But in order to do that, you've got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, drop a comment below, or just send a carrier pigeon because we've got your back when it comes to moving to Boynton Beach or anywhere in South Florida. And until next time, peace!